Think about this time when we were stealing street signs. Now, every kid steals street signs. Your kids, they steal street signs. You give them to your girlfriends. If you have a youth group, they represent a certain thing, a word that's special to you. Everybody steals street signs. It just happens. And I happen to be one of the taller kids in my group, and Jeff was taller than me, so we were the sign stealers. It just happened to work out that way when we were like 14, 15 years old. We'd, and in Foster City, we'd get the Zodiac signs, give them to our girlfriends or friends because of Zodiac signs. And, you know, you, if you're Taurus, you're Aries, you pick a sign. But anyway, it was no big deal. It's just something we all did. But at one time, we had a sleepover. You know, it's like 14 guys taking over Molly's house. And Molly had a good house. She lived in Foster City. Well, we all lived in Foster City. But she had the nicer part of Foster City where they make the streets each a theme. So when you just have like a railing, it's not a railing, it's a rope or a chain that looks like an anchor. This was a nice, nice part of Foster City. So 14 kids take over her house and at about seven o'clock at night, a few of us decide to go steal a sign. One of them saw a Zodiac sign, Aries or something that they wanted. This time it turns out it's on not just a regular street pole where you leap up or get on someone's shoulders and grab it. It was on a railroad tie an eight by eight piece of wood that had been there since Foster City got invented 30 years ago. So this railroad tie is this huge piece of wood and I really wasn't involved in this, everyone else was. Jeff was taller than me, he was their stealer and I was just hanging around. And they decided to go for it on this giant piece of wood. Jeff jumps up half on someone's knees and shoulders, grabs this sign, brings the whole sign down. It had rotted out from below. So this wooden sign just him and they just all sprawl with this giant piece of wood on the ground. Half of us bust up laughing. The other half go to see if they're injured and they're not. They're fine. And I, you know, half of us head back to the house. We're like, figure this is a busted run. We're going to go before the construction crew or someone realizes we broke Foster City. You know, we're just like, we broke. Okay, done, right? We're done. So half of us are halfway back to the house trying to remember where the house was. The ones who do know where it is. And I'm following. And I look behind us. And they got the sign. <laughs> they got an, an eight foot chunk of railroad wood. This thing's eight inches thick on a side. It's eight inches square. It's huge. These four kids, four 14 year olds, are schlepping this thing back to the house. It's rotted out in one spot where it broke. It's all full of bugs and God knows what. And they're schlepping this thing behind us. And I get to the house and there's like 10 of us back at the house. And a couple of us go, you know, like, are you okay? We're like, yeah, I guess we're okay, and things are fine. And, you know, we're very lightly supervised at these sleepovers. Like, one of the cousin's brother's mother is there. And, you know, they let us kind of have the run of the house. And they come trotting in, four guys carrying this giant, disgusting piece of wood into this very nice house, living room, that they're all proud of. Like, they conquered this street sign. And half of us are going, get this thing out of here. <laughs> the other half of us are cracking up that Molly is going to kill all of us <laughs> for wrecking her house with this piece of wood. Oh. I can't even remember what the hell happened to it. I guess they got it. Didn't they must have don't... put it down in the kitchen or something. And then somehow or other, someone's got it out the back door and it disappeared into the yard.